goal of every good zoo is to protect animals and to encourage citizens to offer their protection and to work with us to see that animals will always be in our lives. And we do that also by building great zoos that educate and inspire. I'm very impressed with Taronga. It's a wonderful environment. I think it's a very lushly planted place, so it has that naturalistic element. But you're also teaching people through these programs like the bird show. And it's, it's evident that people are enjoying their visit here. But more importantly, you have great people here. And the great people on your staff and volunteers, uh, their commitment and their enthusiasm is one of the things that makes Taronga great. We encourage our visitors to join, to learn more about what we're doing, to be involved in what we're doing, and to provide the resources so we can do it better. Together, we can do a lot more than we can apart. Animals are fascinating. And uh, the more kids see them, and the more families see them in these uh, situations, the better they're gonna respect and protect animals in the bush like many of your Australian animals. The better zoos uh, understand this construct of wellness-inspired design. They're building exhibits that are, are much different than the ones we built before. They're an example of what we call soft architecture, naturalistic landscape immersive architecture. So we feel like we're in a wild place. We're seeing the animal in a natural setting. And again, if you see them that way, you don't feel sorry for them. In fact, you appreciate them. And the more we appreciate them, the better we are at uh, conserving them. Well, this is a wild zoo, the things that happen. It is wild, isn't it? <laughs>